My name is Kirk Whipple. And I'm Mary Lee Morales. And this is our little brown bag concert. And for those of you who are banking over there, keep doing what you're doing. If you want to join us for some music, you're welcome to come and listen. And uh, we have a little program for you today and another one next week. Uh, we're going to start off with our arrangement of a piece that was originally written for strings. And we improvise on this piece. It's a little different every time. And it's uh, entitled The Paco Bell Cannon. Oh, 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 thanks, thanks. By the way, we have uh, somebody demonstrating that um, if you want to open up your potato chips, you should probably do it quietly. <laughs> this is being taped for a global audience, in fact.
that says. Ooh, it's uh, steamy out here. Yeah, you know, don't 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 try this at home unless you know exactly what you're doing. Um, so the next piece we're going to play for you was also originally written for strings, and in German it's uh, Eine kleine Nachtmusik or a little night music, and it's the first movement by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. So we think yes. Yeah. Okay. You call him the shots. No, no, they don't, 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 don't tell tales. <laughs> Everybody knows who the boss is around here, and it's not me. And don't forget. <laughs> Bustello. <laughs> it's not a, not, a, not a commercial for Bustello. This is uh, 
Uh, we could actually do a commercial for Eastern Bank, though, because that's where we're performing yes. today. Yes. And uh, but we'll, we have a very special uh, guest that we're going to interview shortly. Uh, but we should say one of the two Cranberry Coast concert pianos uh, is located at Eastern Bank, and you can hear the sound of change during the performance being uh, See, being exchanged. I, I never leave home without it. <laughs> I always have one in my purse. <laughs> Well, I, I had no idea what I was going to say next. <laughs> she, okay. She, const she constantly slays me. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, that's right. I was looking at the piano, but for a moment there, you know, this, uh, this vision of beauty was in my face. You get mesmerized. Yes, with this lovely, oh. uh, lovely dress that you're wearing from uh, the gallery consignment shop. And we'll be I got to tell you, don't I look hot? <laughs> <laughs> Interestingly enough, we'll be able to talk to somebody uh, who can tell you a little bit more about the yes. uh, gallery consignment shop later, too. <laughs> but I was saying, uh, I did want to tell our viewers that if you come to a Cranberry Coast concert, you will frequently hear us performing on one of the two Yamaha grand pianos. Uh, uh, we have our uh, lovely concert grand pianos. One is located here, the other one at Music of the Bay in East Wareham on Cranberry Highway. And we have concerts this summer happening at uh, both locations, also in Attleboro at uh, Murray Unitarian Universalist Church. Whenever the bench gets smaller, we just have two pianos. That's right, sometimes, yeah. uh, but, but it's all that good Cuban food. <laughs> well, we're going to do, do a couple more numbers here. Uh, how about, how about uh, let's go backwards in time to a little Bach. What do you say? Okay. All right. Um, and that's it. While you're finding the music, I'll tell our audience about the piece. Okay. Okay. The uh, next piece we're going to play for you was originally written by Johann Sebastian Bach as part of his uh, Well-Tempered Clavier. It's the first one, the little C, ma C major prelude. And Charles Gounod, a few, uh, little while later, added his Ave Maria on top of it. After that, uh, this piano duo named Kirk and Marilyn, they added a few things. So this is the Ave Maria and improvisations by Bach, Gounod, Whipple, and Morales. <laughs> There'll be a quiz later. <laughs>
piece also is a little bit different each time because in the middle of the piece we improvise. Keeps it keeps it very very fresh in our in our hearts and minds and fingers. Hello. Join us if you wish. <laughs> and let's see what's what's next up. You know we're gonna fast forward. <coughs> we saved you a comfy seat right here. <laughs> it's yours. No, that's good. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna dart forward into the Romantic era with a little bit of Robert Schumann. And uh, Robert uh, wrote these pieces actually when he was in the um, uh, mental asylum. I uh, wish, wish I could be that crazy all the time because these pieces are so beautiful. Uh, written specifically for one piano, four hands. And uh, the, piece, the, um, uh, the titles of them are just simply the um, uh, tempo uh, indications. In this case, Lebhaft, which means simply lively. But uh, my personal picture of this piece is of uh, kind of like an Indiana Jones kind of uh, Yeah, because it's sport. Tales from the East. Tales from the East, that's right. So who knows what Indiana was up to. I always place. think of a camel, but I can't, I don't know if Indiana Jones, you know, <laughs> a camel. She has an active imagination. They don't have camels in Cuba. <laughs> well, I mean, you know.
Yeah. Well, let's go forward now to a piece by Samuel Barber, a uh, 20th century composer. He's moving fast. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. skipping, skipping around. We don't have all day. Uh, and uh, I have a, actually a connection to Samuel Barber because um, one of my teachers, John Browning, uh, Samuel Barber wrote his piano concerto and sonata for, and they were very good friends. Uh, so I feel like Samuel Barber's kind of uh, sort of my great uncle or something musically, one of them. <laughs> and we've selected a little piece for you called Du Pas de Dieu, and it's from Souvenirs, which he wrote sort of as a, um, uh, to, to recall the feeling of the Ritz-Carlton in the uh, teens, the 19, 1910s. And uh, this lovely little piece, Pas de Dieu. close today playing uh, one of our signature pieces. Uh, this we like to say is for uh, the kid and everyone and it uh, comes with a little story. Uh, once upon a time. Oh wait a second, you always tell that story. <laughs> you want to tell, mean, go yeah. ahead, you can tell he, the he story. He doesn't even need a mic to just take so over. I got, I got the mic here. If oh, I walk, I can talk if to I walk away from the mic, you don't get Get to... back here. <laughs> 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 tell him tell him the story. Well, you see, what happened was that we were playing a wedding for his cousin. <laughs> and um, I, actually, I was playing the wedding, and he was playing the reception. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, what a gift. Yeah. So, um, so I played the wedding, and then I had another thing to play after. And so, but I saw the food. You know, I tried to be in line, but you know, I love food. And that's why it's a good thing for it. It's a brown 
bag of lunch, you know? <laughs> so anyways, but um, <clears throat> so I stood in line and to get the food and there was this old man and he comes over to me, he says, young lady, where are you sitting? And I said, nowhere in particular. He was It wasn't sharp. quite as cute as that, it was more like a, young lady, where are you sitting? Yeah, well, okay. But your delivery was, was really cool. Yeah. So he said, he said, well, see, um, uh, you can see with me and my wife. And so I said, sure. So I sat with him. And um, all of a sudden, he starts playing this piece. And I said, excuse me. I cannot believe he's playing that piece without me. I'll be right back. So I went and I played the piece with him. And I came back. What I didn't know is that I was talking to Charles Schultz. Creator oh, of Peanuts. Oh, wow. Yes. He sat there, and she, out of 300 people, she was the only one in the room who didn't know that she was having lunch, uh, having dinner with Charles Schultz and his family. <laughs> and uh, so, so he comes. You know, I come back, and he says, "You really like that song." And I said, "I'm a true fan of Snoopy." Oh, and no. so, <laughs> <laughs> my my friend comes over to pick me up for. For the next thing that I was playing, and um, you know, I noticed she was really nervous. And on the way out, I said, "What is the matter with you? Did you drink too much coffee or something?" And she says, "You don't know, do you?" And I said, "What?" She said, "You were talking to Charles Schultz." I had no idea. <laughs> and fortunately, we got to know uh, Charlie and his family, and they went to a bunch of our events yeah. that we did back in California. And uh, so, hey, Charlie, wherever you are, yeah, yeah. this is for you. Awesome. <laughs> And of course, for our uh, musical scholars out there, this is Linus and Lucy by Vince Garaldi. Right.
just a moment, we'd like to invite a couple of guests up, and we have a, a little, uh, little special presentation. Uh, we'd like to start first off by getting my notes. <laughs> the poor guy sees the old age. <laughs> yes, I married young. <laughs> Okay, well, we'd like to, uh, we're, we're at Eastern Bank here in Wareham, and we would like uh, you to give a warm round of applause for our very good friend, Ms. Rose Berry, who's going to, she's going to participate as a contestant now. You see, there's, there's prizes here. Yay! As long as I don't have to play. That's okay. So, it's, it's really easy playing, you know, this week on Cranberry Coast Concerts. There's, you have to answer three questions correctly. And if you get those three questions correct, then you get to go to the bonus round for a very special prize. I like bonus rounds. Okay, here okay, we go. let's do it. Okay, so three very tough, you know, think Jeopardy. You know, we consulted with Jeopardy for these questions. There we go. So wait, that, that's... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. That's the bonus. That's right. That's the bonus. Okay, okay. That's all right. She didn't get the musical cues on the show. Oh. So. Okay, first question. How much is the monthly fee for a checking account at Eastern Bank? That would be free. All of our checking accounts are free, personal and business here at Eastern Bank. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Okay, good. She got the first one right. Good applause. <laughs> okay, so uh, no more softball questions here. Yeah, but they have to have some money though, right? Uh, to, to be bossy. Right. Yeah. Otherwise, but there's no fee. Yeah. No fee. No, no fee. <laughs> okay. We're moving, moving on to the second question here. Okay. In the 10th century, which country issued the first circulating currency? Oh my gosh. Well, that every banker should know. China, of course. Ding 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 ding. Oh. How about it? She's right. Because it could have been one of those ancient African countries. It certainly wasn't America. China, absolutely. Okay, now, uh, if, if Rose gets this question, she'll move on to the bonus round. So, third question. What is your best advice for improving someone's personal finances? Bank at Eastern Bank with Rose Berry. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Rose gets to move on to the bonus round. Okay, here we go. Real tough question here because it involves, you know, um, numbers and figures and, and being very exact here. Um, could you give us the exact location of Eastern Bank in Wareham? 226 Main Street, Wareham, Mass. Ding, 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 ding. To it. Well, now, now, Marilyn, what is what does Rose win? For, she she's won the bonus round too. Oh, she wins a uh, um a season ticket to all the shows, and let me tell you, there's some really cool shows happening here and Ooh. in Music in the Bay yeah. and in Attleboro, and we have Vanna White with us. <laughs> and, uh, oh, man, thank you so much. <laughs> This is an all-access pass to Cranberry Coast Concerts. They're valued at $100 a piece, and actually they'll also... Worth two. Yes. yes. Valued at one, worth two. All right. No fee. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, too, but a few other things we get to say about the Cranberry Coast yes. Concert card. Um, $100, and it'll get you into all of our events this summer. Um, also, children get in free to all Cranberry Coast Concerts events if they're accompanied by a paid adult. And... Um, There's restaurants. That's right, and you get 10% off of selected restaurants in the area, yes. including Stonebridge Bistro. Oh my God, we just ate there. Oh, uh -huh. I'm so stuck, it's so beautiful. So and uh, actually, we're yeah. going to go have lunch later at um, at El Mariachi, who's on board as well too. So, ay, 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 ay. you know, you could you could save you could save <laughs> the cost of your Cranberry Coast concert card just in restaurants this yeah. summer. So, another round of applause, folks, for. Okay, we'd like to welcome our guest next to the show. Uh, she is the owner and operator of the Gallery Consignment Shop in Wareham. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome uh, Tracy Medeiros. Yay! <laughs> well, 
and you notice what we've been doing today too, I don't know how much of this is getting caught in the camera here, but we, we've been flanked by uh, some Oh wait, I'm gonna do a change. Oh, that's right. Well, wait, wait, come back, come back, come back, come back real quick, Maddie. You can now let you go there, go back there yet, because you're modeling one of the oh, dresses that yes. you picked up from the yes. consignment shop. Nice. Yes, she did. This matching ensemble of no the, uh, you can wear it with or without the top. Well, I prefer oh, later you wear it without. She, she, <laughs> this is rated G, isn't it? Well, yeah. Well, you know, PG, whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> did I mention we're married, so I can I can say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we just celebrated our 25th wedding anniversary. Yeah. So. Yeah. I married, she was she was 15 and I was 17. But, uh, yeah. Yes, Shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, so you, you, you were gonna go, uh, you were gonna leave and come back to, to do something interesting? Sure. Okay, and then I'll, I'll uh, we'll talk to Tracy here. Okay. And I've got, uh, right I've got some questions for Tracy. You do look marvelous, Don. Oh, yes, she does. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have, we, have three, we have three questions for you. Okay. And um, the first one is, what was Marie Antoinette wearing when she arrived at the guillotine? Clothes? Yes! <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and uh, let's see here, we have another question here, and she's been totally unprompted for this. Uh, who designed Melania Trump's inaugural blue dress? Oh, Melania Trump's, yes, it's um, Harvey Pierre. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> ding. Okay. Uh, one last question here before we play the bonus round. Um, who's your favorite designer? Mm, there are so many. I'd say Calvin Klein. Me too. Calvin Klein it is. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, Rose gets to play the bonus round. I mean, Tracy gets to play the bonus round. I get to play against Rose? <laughs> no, Rose already I won. <laughs> we can we can we can edit that out, right, Steve? No, we're not going to edit it out. You know. So, um, Tracy. Yes. When's your birthday? Today. Oh, it's your birthday today. Well, you know something. <laughs> A season yeah. ticket, which gives you all pass to all Cranberry Coast concerts, events. <laughs> Children get in free when accompanied by adults who are um, uh, who have paid. And oh yeah, and also too, Marilyn has just made a quick change, and she'll be modeling now one of Tracy's yeah. other wow. the dresses She's that are available ready. there. Oh. And uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. I'm going to let her do her she thing. She just here. does her thing. And it's, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. So, oh, I know. well, before we sign off, Tracy, um, is anything else you want to say about the dresses, about uh, about gallery consignments? Well, just, I mean, if anyone hasn't been in, they need to come in because there is a style for every taste, a price for every budget. You can get something, as, as you all can attest to, from $2 up to $250. Um, come by. Everything marks down by date. It's it's a treasure hunt each and every time. So come by. I'm across from the post office right in Wareham Center at 247 Main Street. Thanks. And right across Thank the street you. from Eastern Bank. And I am. Yes, we have some great neighbors down here on Main Street. Between restaurants, Eastern Bank. It's a good time. Take a walk down. Right, and one of our neighbors, too, also right up the street, uh, round of applause, folks, for our good friend Steve Ruiz and the folks from Wareham Community yes. Television, WCTV. Doing wonderful things in town, filming everybody. So uh, uh, I guess that's it for us at uh, Cranberry Coast Concerts this week on Cranberry Coast Concerts. Uh, next week we have another brown bag concert. You're all invited. Um, it'll be uh, same time, same bad channel. Thursday, the chairs will be here uh, waiting for all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you.